Since I have all these three SSDs and already have run benchmarks on them, I thought I would compare them against each other and benchmark them again. Welcome to Tech News Channel, my name is Miguel. If you want to see the unboxing and reviews with benchmarks on the individual SSDs, I will leave links to the videos in the description. First, just some technical info on the SSDs. The ADATA SP900 and the Kingston V300 have a Sandforce FX2281 controller with MLC NAND flash, and the ADATA SP550 uses a Silicon Motion SM2256 controller with TLC NAND flash from Hynix. Cutting right to the chase, the benchmarks. Pause if you want to go in depth on the data. This is a non-scientific ISO and files copy between SSDs. Here are the times in seconds. The ISO use had 1.5 gigabytes and the files folders had a lot of small and medium sized around 10 megabytes. So in this non-scientific test, the winner is, okay, Average in read and write, the best is the Kingston V300, but the SP550 is the fastest one in write speeds and the SP900 is the best in read speeds. Now for the average Auto, ASSSD and Crystal Dismark results here in detail. And now for the graph. Too much info. Make your own conclusion and share with us in the comment section below. For my gaming and work I really can't tell the difference. So for me it comes to money. The cheaper one is the best one. Taking consideration my system is getting old. With an FX8350 at 4.3 MHz, 16GB DDR3, 1600MHz RAM in an ISROC 990FX Extreme 3 motherboard. I think all SSDs for the average user are quite good. The next step up is NVMEs. I hope this review helped or not. And if you liked this video, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified for more tech related videos. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.